Hello everybody, this is Max with Avon Website Pro and today we're going to be talking about Summer Note and uploading images. So when you upload an image to the Summer Note, what will happen is it'll turn it into base 64 code and that's really bulky in your database if you're trying to save images there. It's also bulky on your server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to upload an image through Summer Note, process it with PHP so it stays in a directory on your server. All right, so first things first, we need to create a new website here, and I'm just going to right-click, hit New Folder on my server, and create Summer Note. Okay. Now the prerequisites here, of course, you have to have PHP installed, and I'm working locally here, so I have it installed on my computer. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is bring up my HTML editor, and I'm going to scroll down here to the Summer Note direct, uh, directory. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to go File, New, I'm going to start out with a text document, and I'm going to go to the A1 Website Pro, I'm going to hit this Read Easy, scroll down here, I might be going fast, but uh, you'll be able to read over the article if you want to, but uh, I've laid out the code here for you so you get started, I'm going to explain the code to you, I'm going to hit Control A, Control C, or Command A, Command C if you're on the Mac like me, and then you just paste it in there. And we'll just go ahead and hit Command S. We're going to save this as index.php. We're going to make sure that we are in our Summer Note website here. Okay. Save. PF8 encoding. And if we go back to the website, you can see that there's one more file that we will need. And this is the PHP processing file. So I'm hit Command A, Command C, copy that. And what do we want to name this? We want to name it editor-upload.php. So let's go ahead, go back to our BB edit file. We have a text document. And we'll go file. Save. And we're going to call this. Did I just say? Got good memory. Half a second. Editor upload. E-D-I-D-O-R hyphen upload and then the extension is going to be dot PHP because this is what is going to process the file. Okay? So we have our index and our editor upload. Now we need one more thing. What is that? Well that is a directory to store our images on the server. So if we uh, if we take a look at here it's going uh, Let's look at the HTML. We're calling in these libraries right here. And you can no you notice I'm using a CDN. I'm just going out on the internet and bringing it in here for time's sake. I start out with my body tag. I give it a class of container, which this is a bootstrap div. And then I get my form uh, uh, tag, my text area, the ID, I'm going to name it summer note. This is important. And then the text area right there. Okay, and then I close out my div tag. And now we start our scripts. Now you notice that right here, this ID, I'm targeting the ID of summer note. Okay, and I have enter directions here, but I can put anything I want. Place image here, just like that. I'll go ahead and save that. I got it set to a height of 300. Now this callback, this is what is important. Okay. I'm saying that whenever you have an inlet image in there on image upload, I'm going to call this function files editor well edible, edible. Okay? And this is for multiple files if I upload multiple files into the editor. Okay? So that takes and assigns a variable of i and it'll increment increment those Now we also need this function send file and you'll notice for each of the images that we upload we're going to send a file and we're going to send it to this url editor.php this is all ajax right here okay and that's going to send it over to this file right here okay and then what this file is going to do is it's going to grab the image right here this is just a image error. I don't have that actually in here. We could actually take that out. Uh, what we do is we rename the images. So if you upload uh, the image with the same file name, 
it'll continually change those image images, image names, so that we don't have a bunch of you know images with the same name. Uh, of course, it won't work if you do that. And then we're going to echo back the uh, file path. Let's go ahead and save that. And did we create the image directory? Okay, looks like I saved this image editor in the wrong place. So you can file, save as HD Docs, Summer Note, save it. Okay, so then that way it works. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is, is we need to create a directory called Image Upload. So let's do that. IMG hyphen uploads. Okay, just like that. And that's where our images are going to be stored in here. So I'll leave this open so we can test it out, see if it works. So let's go ahead, refresh this page. And here we see that we have our summer note. We have place image here. So let me go ahead and grab an image. And let me go ahead and go to pictures. Baby girl. Hit open. And then we notice that the image is in there. Now, how do we know that it up? to our server. Well, if we go here to an image upload, you can see that the image is in there. Okay, so now let's try uh, multiple images, shall we? So let's go here to our pictures and let's grab, let's see here. Grab a couple of the kids' pictures. And we'll take this one and this one, and this one. Drag them, drop them. Okay. As we scroll down, we see these images are in there. Now, how do we know they uploaded to the server? Well, if we go to our applications, you just gotta click backspace here. Okay, now if we go here, you can see that the images are uploaded. Okay, and it's simple as that. I just wanted this to be a quick little tutorial to show you how to upload images and store them. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to comment on the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, go to the website here, uh, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible if you leave a comment below. Thanks.